hi welcome back in this lesson I will teach you how to add this uh, pay now button to our website uh, now I'm showing uh, the final result of the website so here is our amount and if I click on uh, the pay now button you can see that we are redirected to pay.php page and then automatically transfer uh, transferred to this uh, PayPal page which is already including the amount of our uh, order and the target email the target PayPal account for the payment here we can see the description C shop order okay uh, just for now I will not create uh, the pay.php page because this page is storing the order and it is connecting it to the uh, to the visitor to the username of the visitor but so far we still didn't create uh, the logging in process uh, so we will just go directly to PayPal and we will not store the order for now in the next lessons we will create the logging uh, process to our website and they then we will add uh, the the part which will save the order and only then transfer our information to PayPal I will insert a simple code which I found on PayPal site and the, at the integration part uh, for developers and I will just paste it inside our editor inside our uh, cards.php page and I will explain this code okay we can add it right after our table let's even do it after the PHP part still inside the text border okay here it is it is basically a form a simple form which is including some uh, hidden inputs okay they are not visible but we can send the information inside those uh, inputs to the to this uh, location to this target page by using the post method okay so this is the code which I took from uh, PayPal and it is including uh, the picture of the button here is the address of the picture you can store it also on your uh, server if you think uh, PayPal will have any problems with their server but they are very reliable so no problem about that this line should be kept as is here in the business uh, in the business box or in the business uh, field we should write uh, the email uh, which is registered inside PayPal basically our PayPal account should be indicated by our email so here is uh, my email for PayPal and then the description of our order the user will see a C shop order and the amount and then he will be able to make the payment of course using all PayPal secured tools then we have item number let's just keep it one we don't really track our orders according to PayPal we have our own uh, we will have our own uh, tracking system the amount should be a uh, total variable of course we should include PHP tag here because total variable is a PHP variable okay and then I'm not using shipping here so uh, basically I didn't change this line and I don't want any notes here uh, so I just kept this line as well uh, the code currency I want to get money in USD of course and this is uh, something that is indicating the type of the button uh, for PayPal because you can also store all those all this information inside PayPal and then the button will be like pre-saved but it is not a good solution for us because we need to change the amount in real time okay then we have the part of the image of course it's uh, just like I got it from PayPal okay now I can save 
this uh, this page and refresh it in our browser I will get to the site we are working on okay here it is and here is the button we just created this is the amount and it should appear in a PayPal website when we click on the button let's try okay we have some kind of error please provide an amount and click update totals okay maybe because of uh, those spaces it is not working now no it's work it's not working because I didn't use the echo function okay now I think it will be okay let's refresh and make the payment now okay great here is our amount here is our target email for the payment and here is the order description okay then the user will be able to pay using his PayPal account or using his uh, credit card uh, because if he does not have PayPal account uh, set up he can just uh, use uh, PayPal for payment with a regular uh, credit cards it's very easy it's very comfortable for you and for users because they know that PayPal is secured and it is really the best way to pay on the internet so we can just uh, accept our payments by PayPal of course important part is to save uh, our page or the order of the visitor into our database before transforming him to PayPal uh, and we will do it in our next lessons where we will create uh, the logging process and then we will redirect this button first of all to our page which will be called pay.php then we will insert this data of course all our items and the amount the total amount and the prices of our items into a database into our orders table and only then we will go to the original page of PayPal and we will transfer or retransfer all those variables basically we are transferring just the total amount and the description which is constant because we are not changing the description according to the product although we can do it but since I'm storing uh, the information about the purchase in our database I don't want to store it twice uh, so basically for now we are just paying or we are just enabling our visitor to pay by PayPal but we are not saving this information and as I said we will do it in the next lessons so let's make a short break now and come back for the next lessons bye bye